Good morning, yo, or afternoon, I should say. Holy smokes. What's good? It's the day after WrestleMania 1. How y'all doing? Everybody holding up? You sleeping good? You taking good care of yourself? Uh, last night was night one of WrestleMania, and we got a lot of people out there talking about it. And I just want to give a shout out to the WWE and all the bright minds behind the scenes. Thank you. Kept us thoroughly entertained. Um, so without further ado, why not just let's uh, review the night, right? What do we got? The first match with the kickoff, Cesaro and Drew Gulak. I didn't see that. Uh... I must have missed that, but I'm sure they tore it down. Those are two guys that can really go. Everyone knows that. Uh, I'm sure they tore it down. I got to see that match. I got to look that up. Um, the intro and the video and the uh, ACDC tribute was awesome. Um, I know they've used ACDC in the past, but it really kind of blows my mind that they never used uh, for those about to rock. Song's amazing, and the intro was amazing. It was very well done. My girl was even joking about how much that just alone probably cost, and she's probably right. Um, hello? I got a sandwich coming. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. Thank you. You're the best. I love you. Right now, we don't have Presley as a guest. Okay, Kayla doesn't want to be a guest. Uh, right now, we don't have Presley as a guest because Presley ate her lunch and now she's sleeping. Yeah. Um, for those who saw, Presley loves the Macho Man impression. Yeah. Uh, once again, thanks for everybody tuning in and giving support to the Weekly Rant with Jimmy Conway. This is another episode. It was supposed to be weekly, but with the situation we have going on in society right now, I figure, why not try and deliver daily content? And a night like last night was awesome, and why not go over it, right? So without further ado, like I said, the kickoff, I missed that, Gulak and Cesaro. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that match in the comments. I didn't get to see it. I'm sure it's more than worth watching, though. Um, crazy how they had the opportunity and the honor of opening up WrestleMania. I know Gulak, I know Drew is very happy about that. Um, so Cesaro apparently defeated Gulak. I gotta watch that match. I'm sure they tore, tore, tore it up. Uh, next, we had the women's tag team match. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross defeated Asuka and Kyrie Sane. I did watch that match. They had the daunting task of, like, really, I guess, opening up WrestleMania. The live feed and everything, um, it was daunting, you could tell. Um, and obviously, even the fans know, but I'm sure even the workers especially know, uh, it's quite the task to do what they're doing, and everyone's giving it their best. Um, with no crowd out there, the matches are different. It's definitely different. It's a different feel for the guys and girls, you could tell, but everyone's giving it their best Um and, and that's all you can ask for. Uh, these four girls, they tore it up. I know they started the match with some haha, -ha, which, you know, brings some levity to the situation. Uh, I appreciated that. Um, started off nice and slow, and then it built. It, uh, it got to building, and uh, that's how you want your matches to be, uh, despite popular belief out there sometimes. Um, and I thought those girl, girls tore it up. They, they started turning it up, and um, all the matches, for the most part, were very entertaining. Um, next was Elias and King Corbin. Uh, I like this match, and Elias deserved to pick up that victory as he defeated uh, King Corbin. Um, it says a lot about what they think of him, and... I think that was awesome to have him go up on the King of the Ring. That was awesome. And Corbin's been hot all year. And Elias is obviously super over. So good for him. Um, also, side note, great art 
on the shirt, on the new Elias shirt. That's a shirt I would buy. I never really, you know, buy the merch. I, I'm a big fan of the old stuff. Um, but that shirt was fire. Um, next, we had the Raw Women's Championship. That was Becky Lynch versus Shayna Baszler. I was surprised by this. Wow. Um, I thought it was Baszler's time. Uh, she's been a monster, and she's been tearing the shit out of girls, the living shit out of girls, um, which surprised me that they aired that, but that's awesome, uh, of course, uh, for us degenerates out there. But uh, a very entertaining match. Those two can go. And a lot of respect to Miss Becky Lynch and also Shayna Baszler. You guys put on a hell of a, hell of a performance. Um Next up, we had the WWE Intercontinental Championship match with Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan. Sami Zayn's looking a little grungy out there, growing the hair out, putting a little weight on. He's looking dirty. <laughs> um, but I get it. It's it's the direction they're going with him, and Sami's a great heel. I don't know that I ever really thought maybe Sami could be a great heel, but he has proved to be so, and uh, good for him. And obviously, these are two of the best ever. Um they're up there, and they definitely tore it up. It's sad to see guys on the outside who can, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, who can really go and really tear it up. And um, there's just not enough spots, um, not enough TV time. Uh, but the Intercontinental match was really, really tight, and uh, you expect those guys to bring it. Dope match. Um, next, we had the SmackDown Tag Team Championship ladder match, which I was a bit confused on this. I haven't been able to keep up um, with the duties of the baby and everything keeps me busy. Uh, lack of sleep, working on the studio here. Um, one second. Um, I was a bit confused as to why they had one of each uh, from the teams. Uh, my lady and I were kind of guessing and wondering if it was kind of minimalized uh, discrepancy with the coronavirus. I'm not sure, especially considering they had tag match. They had a tag match earlier on in the show with the girls. Um, interesting, uh, but they chose to have one guy from each team. So they had John Morrison representing uh, Ms. Morrison, and they had Jimmy Uso representing the Usos, and had Kofi Kingston representing the New Day. And um, this, they tore it up in this match. These guys really went and uh, laid it in, and they brought it. And that was a very entertaining match. If you missed the ladder match, or really any of these matches, I would definitely recommend turning back on the network or finding a way to stream it and watching these matches. Because although this is a very interesting time, a very different and very worrisome time, and these are uncertain times, I think it's a lesson for the viewers, and I think it's a lesson for the boys and girls watching at home and uh, the workers themselves in the company. Uh, it's like a crash course almost, sort of, kind of. And, and, and for those who aren't really <clears throat> aware how to really work, excuse me, you're seeing holes in their games, but I think it's a great opportunity for people to step up and to get better and do the little things, uh, the work in between. And now you don't have a crowd to rely on um, and your strikes have to be that much tighter and your, your being vocal is, is it's dependent. You know, these matches are dependent on you being able to sell and being able to be vocal and not get blown up. And we all get blown, you know, I know, um, but something I think all of us admittedly could um, step up is being more vocal and voicing what's going on, what's going on with your character, how it's happening, when it's happening, and um, there's just like no room for filler. So everyone's been working real tight, and that brings us to the no DQ match with uh, Owens and Rollins. What a match. Uh, these guys tore it up. And you can tell that the whole locker room is depending on these two guys to be the guys. And um, even with no championship in the match and in the storyline, these two guys made that match mean something. And it was very entertaining. 
And uh, I really enjoyed that match with Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. As uh, Kevin Owens defeated Seth, Seth Rollins last night on night one of WrestleMania. Very enjoyable match. Um, going to the other side of the spectrum next, we had the WWE Universal Championship, which altogether was just weird, let's face it. Um, but I think we can appreciate what's what. Uh, Braun Strowman is a monster. Goldberg is... A monster, and in his time, he he'll always be a legend. Um, the entrance didn't feel the same. I was still looking for like a good classic, hyped up Goldberg entrance. Uh, if anything, that was what always put him over with me. Um, so I was looking for that entrance, um, and sadly, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just seemed a little disinterested. I don't know. Uh, the match obviously being very short wasn't the craziest match. Very simple. Very basic uh, story told there, and they were in and out, and the story got told, and there was a new champion, and I think Braun Strowman is more than uh, he's more than deserving. Uh, great, athletic, big guy who I don't think people even realize just how big the dude is until you see him in person. Um, also, class act, you know. I know there's been a lot of stuff that's been said um, online whoop, recently from him and about him, but uh, when I met him, he was a very cordial, kind, went out of his way to be kind type of fella. Um, and I think for a guy his size, I don't very, I don't know that you have to be, um, but he he really does seem to be a nice, genuine guy. And uh, clearly he's a hard worker because he's gotten in better and better and better, better shape the, more, the longer he goes. And if you ask me, his matches are getting better. His character is building up and getting better. And he hasn't had uh, the big belt, so he's got it now. And uh, let's see what he can do with it, run with it. Next, you got to give it up for the Barnyard match. I am shocked to, to wake up today and see anybody saying anything bad about the Boneyard match. Um, I think you're disconnected from the times and the reality of the two competitors in the match. And I think you're disconnected uh, with what's going on in society right now. Of course, I have my neighbors yelling their bulls. Um, hopefully you don't pick it up because we've got this badass chaotic eyeball doing its job. Shout out to Little. Shout out to Little Selena. Um keeping me sane here and wrestling's keeping us sane uh the boneyard match kept us sane uh, i don't know that it saved a bad night of wrestling i just think it was a huge silver lining and um like a cherry on top of a different product almost um a different view of wrestlemania it was very well done if you say anything otherwise, I'm not sure what you were watching. Um, the American Badass is one of the most awesome wrestling characters. Obviously, The Undertaker himself. And then you you just look at it uh, from a longevity standpoint and a creativity standpoint. He can, he can evolve. He can go back. He can go forward. He can do this. And Undertaker is just one of the greatest of all time. And so is AJ in his own right. And you know what? Both of them... Both of them tore it down with that match. Very well produced. Very well done. From the lighting to the, uh, the job they did acting. Um, and then the intensity of it. It was very well done. So kudos to those two guys. And kudos to WWE for producing such a segment. And it was just the right, it was the right ending. It just felt right. And... I said it in a status, but it was an instant classic, and it's timeless footage that you're going to see used for years on end. Um, long after The Undertaker, Mark Calloway is gone, you're going to see some of that footage, and that's because it was very well done, and it speaks to his character, and I think it speaks to him as a person. I never met the man, um, but from the things I've read and seen and heard, um, I think you just see a lot of genuine emotion and a lot you see the way the man sells, and um, I think the match, whether it was a produced match or not, whether it was in the squared circle or not, whether it was in front of 80,000 people or not, I think the fact that Undertaker sort of kind of helping to pass the torch to another phenom, so to speak, 
I think that match needed to happen. AJ Styles, Undertaker. That's a match we all would have wanted for years on end. And we got it. And I'm thankful that we did because, you know what? It was very entertaining. And it made me feel good and all warm inside at the end. Um, the whole gimmick with Undertaker towards the end while he was in the grave. And then he rose up after with the light behind him and the music. It was built. It was just so well produced. That one moment where he popped up from behind him, I felt like a kid again. I felt like I was a young kid again watching Undertaker, uh, the shtick. And as campy as it can be, the shtick is gold. And that's what brings you back as a fan, as a kid. Um, and then the way he rode off with the music and the arm up and the, the Taker T in the back with the cross. like It was just it was so well done. And that's what you look for in sports entertainment. It was amazing. Um, I can't see how anyone else could say anything different. Um, with that said, I, I enjoyed WrestleMania uh, night one, and I'm looking forward to night two. Um, I'm thankful that the sport and the business, the industry that I love, is standing up in the face of adversity and giving it its best shot. And... I'm sure everyone's being responsible. We just got to be strong during this time and we got to stick together and we have to stay vigilant. Everyone out there remain strong. Everyone out there remain safe and remain positive. This too shall pass. We need to work together on that. And I'm thankful that WWE could, in this trying time, deliver some entertainment and some 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 solidarity and some peace there's something very zen like about sports entertainment it's very harmonious and for those who do it we know and for the fans who love it you know um and like the saying goes you know uh for those who know no explanation is needed at all and for those who don't no explanation will do so, if you find yourself on the latter half of that, and you're a lover of wrestling and of sports entertainment and of WWE, and for some reason you're on mine talking down on the WWE tonight and all the performers, uh, I think you need to look inward. Um, I think you need to be honest with yourself and say, oh, well, I'm, I'm unhappy with myself. Um, I saw a good friend of mine, Mambo. Mambo Italiano, he said, uh, I think it's funny that people who will never get close to working for WWE or being close to a WrestleMania are talking down and talking <laughs> about WWE and WrestleMania. And I just think that uh, speaks volumes. So there's my review and my catch up. On WrestleMania night one I'm looking forward to tonight I know we got Bray and Cena um, what else do we have I know you got um, Brock and Drew that should be pretty entertaining um, and I'm not really familiar with some of the other matches why don't you tell me what you're looking forward to for night two why don't you drop in the comments exactly what you thought was exciting or not so exciting about night one um just trying to stay busy here guys trying to stay creative trying to stay um busy trust me the baby does that plenty for us um but man it was beautiful to watch some wrestling some current stuff and uh i'm proud of the sport and the, the industry that I love for delivering for the world. And like I said in the status online, thank you. You know, everyone, look at that. See, the whole world talking about something different. Thank you, WWE. Thank you, wrestling. Thanks for watching. This has been the Weekly Rant with Jimmy Conway. And as usual, go f yourself.
This feels like round away. It's like this every day. Girl, he's down today. Get yourself a stick. Where's where? Ain't no other way. Say, let that boombox play. Yeah, we going late. Me and the homies playing football in the middle of the street. Hey, still remember the sound of the ice cream truck. I still remember the first time she didn't call me back. Never forget the nights of playing man hunting, eating Anastasia. Still had to put the past behind me.